This video will show you how to use MadPuck to help manage a pickup hockey league. MadPuck wasn't specifically designed for pickup hockey leagues, but I've been using it for my league for attendance and health screening, and it's been working really well and saved me a lot of time. So the first thing you're gonna do is create a new team. So from the menu, choose Add Team. Uh, for the team name, you can say whatever your, your name is. So let's go Beer League. Um, for the abbreviated team name, I would use, typically pickup hockey leagues have dark and light, so um, let's just choose dark and we'll create an opponent later um, who's, who's white. Um, next, you're gonna turn on health screening if, you, if you're required to do that for entry into the rink. Uh, by default, um, health questions that are asked uh, require the player to manually answer no to each question. Um, if you enable health question default to no, um, then it allows the players to save the results without having to explicitly answer each question. We're gonna enable this to make the demonstration faster when we get to the health screening section later. Next, we're going to set the home defaults. Uh, so this is going to save you time uh, later on when you're creating games. It'll automatically populate with these values. So home city, Waterloo, uh, the arena is going to be Rim Park, and the rink pillars, and we're not going to set a dressing room. So we click add and that will create the team. So we're gonna go into our team, our beer league team here. And the first thing that I do is create all the players uh, before you send out the team invites so that when you start receiving the join request for the team, you can quickly associate the players to the fans. So if we go into players, we're gonna first create a player for uh, ourselves. So Neil Adams. Um, now, typically, you know, not all the players will have jersey numbers. Um, if you don't include a jersey number, it'll be put under jersey number zero. Uh, the position doesn't really matter too much for uh, pickup hockey. Uh, and the only field that really matters here is the AP player field here. Uh, so it, if the AP player is turned off, that, that's considered a rostered player, and they will be automatically included as present for all the games. Uh, if it's a uh, sub player for your pickup league, then mark them as an AP player, and then they will automatically be marked absent for uh, all of the games unless you explicitly put them into the game. So this player is a roster player, so we'll leave that turned off, and we'll click Add. Um, now we're going to create one more player. Uh, John, let's say Johnny, Johnny Turnbull. Uh, let's give them number 77 and um, position doesn't really matter too much again uh, AP player we're going to turn on and this is a sub player for the team and choose add um, so now we have created our players and we'll go back to the uh, team dashboard next we're going to create an opponent so for that we're going to go into the games at the top uh, we're going to go to the menu and choose opponents and add opponent. And here we're going to go uh, white and abbreviation is white and the home information doesn't matter. So again, with a, a pickup hockey league, typically you have two colors, um, light and dark. Um, and so this represents the, the second team that's, that's playing. So the dark team is always playing the white team. And choose add. And we see that we've got white added and return to the games list. Next, we're going to create a game. The most recent games are at the top of the list. I, I did find that some players didn't read the dates correctly and submitted health screening for the wrong game. So you might consider only adding the next few games in instead of the whole season. So you don't have to sort of scroll through the list to find the right game. The, the next game is would always be at the top if you only um, enter the next one. Uh, I'm looking to make some improvements here to make it more clear which is the next game. So anyways, we'll we'll choose Add Game, uh, select the opponent, uh, there's only one option, select a segment, um, and just choose regular for this. Um, and then we're going to choose the, the date and time, so let's do uh, 7 a.m. pickup hockey, which is what my league is. The location uh, is home, 
and you'll notice the city arena rank are all defaults that we created earlier when we when we created the team um, and the rest of this information uh, is, is not needed for for pickup hockey so we've we've within um, 10 seconds you can easily create a game the main thing is just setting the opponent segment and the date and click add and there's our first game created so we're going to go back out to the team dashboard uh, the next step is to send a message to the players uh, on on the team uh, to, with a link to join the team uh, i've included a sample email template that you can send to them on the madpuck website and there's a link to it in the video description uh, so you're going to, in order to get the link that you can send to the players, you're going to go into fans and then at the top, invite to team. And then I'm just going to choose notes here, but it's probably easier if you just send, uh, instead of opening a note, send it to yourself in an email or a, a message. Uh, and then at the very bottom there, you can see the, uh, the link to your team. And when, and when someone clicks on that link, it'll send you a notification f uh, to approve them joining the team. So I'm just going to click cancel and return to the home screen. Next, we're gonna have one of the players join the team. So I've got a second phone here uh, beside me and I'm gonna click on that link for that player. And we should get a notification coming in here. And so you can see the Beer League, uh, there's a request to approve this fan. And if you click on the notification, it takes you back into the fan screen. Um, and if you click on the player to approve and choose change role, or you can just check click on the check check mark to to approve them uh, now you need to choose the role for this fan so we're going to choose player for for anyone that joins the team and then we need to associate this fan with the player that we created earlier so right below it you can see select player one under player and we're going to choose the player there so now they're now they're associated and we choose save and then here you can see now neil adams the player um, and they've got his uh, uh, email address, phone number, and player associated there. You're also going to want to see, associate your fan with your player as well. So if you click on the you, the, the first line there, and choose change role, um, you're already by default given the statistician role and the MadPack administrator. Uh, so you're going to also give yourself a player and select the player for yourself. So we'll give, we'll give this person Johnny Turnbull and additionally choose team manager and that's going to allow you to uh, see all of the health health results for all the players so by by default the the administrator role does not allow you to see all the health results and choose save and back to the home screen next we'll look at attendance which is one of the primary features you're going to use in madpuck for pickup hockey so we're going to go into the game screen and then choose the appropriate game and then view attendance and so as the team manager when you come in here you're going to see the attendance for the whole team uh, your players will only see their player names listed not the attendance for the whole team recall we made the neil adams player a roster player so they're automatically marked present in the game and the johnny turbulence player who i thought i marked johnny turnbull but i guess it was a typo uh, is an ap player and so they're absent by default now you can edit the attendance yourself for any player. Just click on the X to move the player to absent or click on the check to move them to present. Now on Android, this is a little bit different. Uh, you're going to first click on the edit button, which is the pencil icon on the top right of the screen, and then select absent or present button beside the player. So let's, let's move the Neil Adams player to absent by clicking on the X. Um, and then you have some reasons that you can choose. So let's say injured. And you'll notice that it, that player has now been moved to the absent section, and you you also get a notification about that as you, um, like would happen if a player marked themselves absent. And then we're gonna let's choose Johnny Turbulence, um, and we click the check, and they're automatically moved into the present section with no reason required. So each player will be able to come into the attendance screen and mark themselves absent in the same way. If they want to come back into the game after being marked absent, either by them or yourself, you will have to do that for them. And when an attendance change is made by a player, you will get a notification. And once uh, once you get an attendance notification, you can look for a uh, replacement, for example, a, a sub or an AP player, 
and then you you manually move them into present for that particular game yourself once you've confirmed with them. Um, and you can do this through the chats feature in built into Madpuck, which we'll give a little bit of a demonstration later, or through uh, email or whatever whatever means uh, is best for you. So we're gonna return back out to the game dashboard. Next is the health screening, which must be done before each game by each player. So we're going to choose health screening. Uh, the first option here is the only option that will be shown for the players on the team and will allow them to do their screen. In this case, our health screen is done by clicking on Johnny Turbulence. And because we have the default set to no option from the team, all the answers are no. And you can sort of quickly review the, the questions here. And we just have to hit submit for that. Uh, for, for us. Uh, and then if we click on health screening again, the second option, which is another player, uh, allows you to screen any player on the teams. So for example, if you're at the arena and a player forgot to screen or doesn't have the phone with them, you can verbally ask them the questions and submit the result on their behalf. So we're going to do that for the other player. And um, in this case, we're going to let's use yes for one of the, the questions and choose submit. The health results section allows you to see the health results submitted for each player and it's uh, found right below the health screening so we'll click on that. Uh, if you don't see it in the list make sure that you set the uh, team role to be uh, for your user to be manager which we did earlier on uh, in this demonstration. Uh, this is the screen you probably want to have open when you're at the arena and making sure everyone is there and they have uh, submitted their health screening correctly. The screen is organized into two sections, present and absent players. This allows you to ignore the players that are not at the game, which makes the verification at the door uh, much smoother. Under the present and absent section headers, you can see the number of goalies and players that are in that section. And then to the far right of the player is an icon. Uh, it can be either a question mark, which means they haven't yet submitted, a green health indicator, which means they have uh, submitted a good health screening, which all the answers were no, or a red health indicator, which means they have uh, answered yes to some of the questions. Uh, it, of course, if they answered, um, if the health results are, are red, you should contact the player and ask them not to come to the game. And mark them absent. Now, typically, if if someone's answering yes to a question, um, they probably wouldn't have filled out the health screening in the first place. They would have just mark themselves um, absent in the attendance. So you typically won't see those red results, but you can keep an eye out for them. And then below each player in this list is the time they submitted the health screening and who submitted it. So it's typically the player that submits it, but it might also be yourself if you did some some manual screening. And then, uh, so you could sort of verify that the date and time is not too far in the past. You know, you typically want results submitted within the last 12 to 24 hours at your discretion. The, the screen will be updated automatically when new health results come in, uh, which may happen as people line up to get into the arena. And ideally, before you enter the rink, you should see all the green health indicators uh, in the present section of the health results screen. Let's return back out to the team dashboard. The last feature I want to talk about is the chats feature. So let's select chat and add chat. And then you have two options here. Um, you can create a group chat by clicking new group or uh, a one-on-one -on -one chat by selecting uh, an individual fan. So we're going to create a new group here. And um, you have two options here. You can choose uh, the specific roles. So for example, all we, we mark all of our players um, as the player roles or all of our fans as players. Um, so if we choose that, we're going to get all of the players in the game. Now that's going to also include AP players and roster players. So if you do want only uh, roster players, you have to manually select uh, each of the fans for that. And so we're going to we're going to choose just the players. And so this would be useful if you want to send out a reminder for a game uh, to blast the entire the entire team. And so we're going to choose like a, just a general general group and click create. And then from here you've got a standard chat interface that you can send messages. Um, 
from the from the menu you can choose group settings and you can see that we've got the roles player selected for this and you can also see that there's one admin admin fan which is the the fan that created this uh this chat um, and then they have the ability to add and remove members and so you can change the, the subject or the group name and you can also uh, remove people from the group or remove roles from the group and um, add new members if you want as well so that's it for chats um, attendance and health screening are probably the two main features that you will use for pickup hockey uh, now madden pack does have a lot of functionality built functionality built in for entering game events like face-off shots goals and penalties which are used to create a play-by-play -play and statistics for games but it's unlikely that you'd you'd use this for pickup games for a few reasons uh, first you probably don't have fans while watching the games to enter the events second the players and goalies typically move freely between the teams from week to week or even during the game and most importantly mad puck stats are designed to work from the perspective of a single team and with pickup you have two teams so I think the best you could do here is to enter the final score after a game, which would give you a record of which team won, either black or white. So just a quick demonstration on how to do that. You'd go into games and choose the game. You'd choose to track live game events. Um, you want to track time, which is uh, allows you to quickly enter the score here. So if you click on the scoreboard uh, for, for the dark team, you could enter the, enter the final score there. Uh, the white team final score and then you could choose game over and you'll you'll notice there that you did get a notification for um, each time that you changed the score or entered the game over so that's a total of three three notifications that all the fans are going to get so i am looking at ways to improve these uh these notifications being sent out for this particular use case If you have kids in hockey, uh, consider setting up a MadPuck team for them and entering game events. It's a, a great way to keep the team informed uh, of what's happening during the game and creating stats for the coaches. You can check out my YouTube channel for other videos which demonstrate how to use the game entry features for generating the stats and play-by-play. -play. Don't forget the video description contains a link to the MadPuck uh, website with more information including an email template you can use to send your team to tell them that you're using madpuck and how they can use it thanks for watching and considering madpuck for your hockey team see you at the rink